Thank you, Lord, for our daily bread. And thank you, me, for another video on the Pethan channel. Everyone thank me in the comments. They finally added Jesus to Fortnite and not in the way you think. What is a woman? Fortnite edition by Dr. Witnesser. Dr. Witnesser is an esports missionary. He tells people about hashtag Jesus in online games, bringing the gospel to gamers. <laughs> this guy just looks insane. Maybe don't talk to children in the, in the in the children's game. I like that he put Dylan Mulvaney in the thumbnail, even though I watched this video already. He does not mention Dylan Mulvaney one time. Uh, even one of my friends was like, yeah, I've, I've dealt with abuse when I was little and like, what is that face, Dr. Witnesser? Why would you ever, why would you ever do that? What is a woman is a great documentary and a great, like, catchphrase for people who are really stupid and really transphobic. Uh, the, the thing was all about him talking to people in the category, like, in this, you know, culture. So he wasn't really the one doing a lot of the talking. It was all the people he was interviewing doing a lot of the talking. And so, you know what I mean? Like, he asked a question, what is a woman? <laughs> well, then you, know, like, what? you know what I mean? Like, this poor kid's just trying to play Fortnite and this guy's just like, what is a woman? What is a woman? Leave him alone. Leave the Fortnite kids alone, Dr. Witnesser. What is a woman? You want me to go with all the details or just just like what mainly what's about a woman like the personality you want not definition of a woman definition that's seen, i don't know what she's talking about it oh yeah like yeah she has hair and whatnot or what <laughs> this is so fucking creepy this is so fucking creepy listen here in um genesis 127 it says so god created man in his own image and the image god created he him male and female created he them and then god created they them later on he goes created to say he yeah he them because he it's more than one now them and he says uh male a uh, man and woman he says man and woman male female man a uh, husband wife he like he puts it all together and he goes this is a this is a man male what a simple and easy answer to what a woman is wow we should have been listening to this guy the whole time well husband this is a woman female wife you heard it here first guys a woman is a wife <laughs> can you imagine thinking like this this guy's fucking got nothing in his skull it's soup in there that's like saying what's a lion and then you're you saying well a lion's a lion that doesn't tell me what a lion is breaking news creepy youtube pastor discovers that if you annoy children on the internet long enough while trying to play their favorite game they eventually just run out of things to say to you because you're being annoying well i'll just straight up ask you guys then uh, what do you think a woman is a biological female okay good answer but i think there's more to it than that there's just a little bit nah, just a little bit more not. see what i've never understood is that transphobes like to say that a woman is a human adult human female and you can't use the word woman when defining woman because that's circular that's the whole point of the what is a woman documentary but if woman and female are synonyms are used interchangeably you can't use a synonym in the definition of a word either you can't be like a car is like a it's like a truck. That's not a definition either, is it? Because my daughter, who's six, I wouldn't call her a woman. I think the answer would be adult human female. You know, because that, that's a woman. I right? mean, yeah, yeah. My daughter you wouldn't know, be a woman, you know what I mean? mean no. no, I get what you're going at, but yeah, there's just a little bit more I think need to be added, that's all. Uh, you know, there's a man who's from uh, California who is a senator. He couldn't tell you what a woman was, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, I wouldn't want to watch anything like that anyway. Oh, it was it's ridiculous. It was irritating to me, like, to know him. My wife was like, you need to calm down. I'm like, this is... But the guy who was dude did the video was... My wife was telling me to calm down. She was getting scared. Bro, why would you say that? You, your wife had to tell you to calm down over a movie? <laughs> this, this whole agenda that's being pushed on us is being pushed on our children. And people, you know, people are trying to get our kids to be, do these operations and these medical procedures with no... Who? Who is? This shit is so fucking made up. It's just, it's, it's so fucking shitty that this guy goes around telling kids shit like this in Fortnite. He doesn't have anything better to do. Get a job! They're pushing this stuff on our kids in other words, you know what I mean? It's like really harmful to society. So it was a really, it was a really good documentary looking at that, the effects of that kind of thing. I don't think. Classic documentary. That's well worth a watch. Right. Yeah, that did you know- trans that's ridiculous too. Like that's mental illness. It's not- no, that's stupid. I, I I can't disagree with you, bro. Did you hear about the guy in Canada who got arrested for calling his own child by the wrong pronoun? No, that's crazy. Wait, what? Guy who in Canada who got arrested for calling his child the wrong pronoun. If you're a boy, 
going to become a girl, your genital just stops growing at that point. You're always going to have this tiny little penis. That was the dad. That was the guy that this guy's talking about. And with girls, your clitoris expands a bit, so it looks like you have a tiny little penis. But they're both, nothing functions. It doesn't work anymore. You, it just... What the fuck? And it's saying that there is an elevated risk of heart disease, heart attacks. I mean, that's all just like nonsense. So because Dr. Witnesser is lying by omission, I'm going to tell you the full story of what happened. The guy that was talking about his own kid's clitoris, um, his kid is a trans boy. While in court, he was given an order not to misgender his own son. And he did it anyway, multiple times. So he was arrested and held in contempt of court. So no, they didn't break down his fucking door because he didn't respect his kids' pronouns. Chief Justice Robert Bauman and Justice Barbara Fisher wrote in a January decision, the father's rejection of his son's identity has caused the boy significant pain that resulted in a rupture of what both parties refer to as an otherwise loving parent-child relationship. This rupture is not in the boy's best interests. He clearly wants and needs acceptance and support from his father. Meanwhile, this save the kids motherfucker raised twenty-two thousand dollars on GoFundMe. Oh, sorry, a Go Get Funding page. This dude's a huge piece of shit. This guy's a garbage human being, and so is Doctor Witnesser for using this kid's fucking father not respecting their pronouns as a talking point to convince random strangers on Fortnite to be transphobic. Yeah, he went to a hospital because they're gonna force these hormones on his daughter without his permission and he of course fought against it and he like called his daughter by the wrong, wrong pronoun and they arrested him and put him in jail and he's out on bail right now so all that shit about the hospital and hormones that's all fake um he made that up dr witnesser lying is a sin go to jail what do you think a woman is bro what do i think a woman is yeah what's a woman someone with ovaries <laughs> <laughs> nice I like it. <laughs> Keeping it simple, all right? Yeah. Someone with ovaries. <laughs> My six year old daughter, she has ovaries. Would you consider her a woman? That is so fucking creepy to say, especially coming out of this guy's mouth. If they made a Jesus Christ Funko Pop, this guy probably would have bought it. Not a grown woman. Exactly, right? What? So she's a girl. A woman could be yeah. adult human female. And that's a good definition. Yes pretty good so bro did you did you see that uh documentary on twitter uh wait he calls it documentary i thought he slipped up the one time i made fun of him and i was probably gonna cut it out of the video what is a woman bro stop stalling what do you think a woman is you're answering a question with a question come on bro what is a come woman on. you tell me i'm asking you the question you can't answer it i just feel like this is a trick question i mean this guy's right because it is a trick question it's a trick question that dr witnesser also doesn't know the answer to because he's stupid bro oh, it's so not a trick question just give me an answer this what is, is a woman uh, i mean i don't know I'm, i don't know you don't know no, have you don't ever know. have you I, ever I, had I intercourse don't don't inappropriate inappropriate question wouldn't ask that to someone on the street shouldn't ask that to someone in Fortnite. have you ever no, no, you've never well, had I don't even know what that is you never had relations this 42 year old man could not tell me it like what a woman was bro what is a woman xx um, a person with an xx chromosome okay so how about at the end of the documentary the actual definition of a woman is a adult female human <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> simplest <laughs> definition all right enough of this i don't want it anymore listen edward is is on his bag okay he has a whole website let's get a prayer request from dr witnesser real quick listen doctor i'm in dire need of help. I have no one to play Fortnite with. I have no idea what a woman is. My crops are dying. My son <coughs> ran away to become trans, and I was arrested for using the wrong pronouns. Perfect. Dr. Witnesser also has a TikTok page. How long ago do you think God made the world? Like a bajillion years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the Bible says God made the world in six literal days, and he rested on the seventh day. If you go by Bible timeline, that was about 6,000 years ago, not 6 billion years ago. So either, either the Bible's lying or science Scientists are lying. Scientists are lying, definitely. The Bible doesn't lie. This should be illegal. Like, for real. You should not be able to, like, tell little kids on the internet whatever you want. That's, like, so creepy. Go ahead. Were you going to say something else, or you just wanted to stop me? Oh, yeah, just don't. Oh, you want to stop my freedom of speech and expression? Okay, gotcha. I didn't know. <laughs>
I didn't know you were that oppressive. My bad. China, man. I don't have that right. Well, you didn't even let me finish. You should check your privilege, you know? Huh. Everybody has the same rights that you're afforded. What are you do in Fortnite? Not in China. We're not in China. We're in Fortnite. Do you think there's only like two genders at first? Listen, every person on this planet had to pass through the legs of a woman to be here. Okay? Yeah. You think that that's that's your answer? <laughs> what does that even mean? Hey, bro. My name's uh, Dr. Witnesser, and I go into games, and I teach people about the Bible. Hell yeah. That's what we love to hear. Today, I'm doing Man on the Street. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dear. Did I just kill your vibe? Why would you post that? Why? <laughs> oh my god, he posts so much. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I hear with people is, oh, you know, you're never going to be able to keep God's law. You're never going to be able to obey. You know, we all sin, right? We've all sinned. We're born with a sinful nature. We're going to sin, but that doesn't mean we can't stop lying. The Son of God came down, born of the flesh, born of this fleshly body, and lived a perfect life with the sinful nature of this fleshly body we all have. Stop talking about fleshly bodies in Fortnite. I'll tell you the reason why... I I came back to Fortnite is because I really like, it may be wrong for me to say this, but, children, but I really like triggering the haters <laughs> when they're like, I can't believe he's teaching kids in Fortnite. Like, how do you do actual grooming? How do you do actual grooming to own the libs? <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm the Fortnite groomer. <laughs> Talking to kids in Fortnite. <laughs> as much as I dislike Dr. Witnesser, he is responsible for one of the funniest tweets I think of all time. I don't remember the context because the original tweet is deleted, but it was something along the lines of like, oh, uh, Dr. Witnesser, uh, you don't know what a woman is because you've never touched a woman, uh, which is, you know, classic, pretty funny. But he replied, and I'm going to blur her face, but he didn't, laying down next to my wife right now. And I have two kids. Why would you post this picture? Dr. Witness, sir, why would you ever post that? Dr. Witness, sir, why are you taking sleeping pictures of your wife and posting them on social media to win arguments? That is really weird. Also, that pillow is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Witnesser, you have to clean that or get a new one, maybe. Anyway, I'm done with Dr. Witnesser um, and his dirty ass pillows. 